I'm standing here with Kai Lightburn, that's the head coach of the national team of Bermuda. Coach, today was your first training here in Suriname. Are you satisfied? Um, yeah, it was just an opportunity for us to get a feel of the pitch. We're used to playing on the grass. I mean, we do train on, on the artificial pitch at times, but actual match, we're used to playing on the grass. Um, just players adjusting back to that. Um, artificial pitch. That's what this session was about tonight, just getting a feel of it, how the ball rolls, how it rolls up, all those different things that, so our, our passing rate. Um, yeah, but I'm pleased. I mean, out the other surroundings that probably, you know, there's a little bit of smoke blurring tonight, things that may happen in the game, so they got to feel what, that, what that's like. Are you here in Suriname with your uh, best team? Um, no, it's, it's not our strongest team, but it's our team for this for this match. Um, we have several players missing, um, so you know half of our team is possibly missing. But we're here to compete. We're here to to, to make it difficult. Um, try and get a result. What do you know about Suriname? Yeah, I know their their team. They like to pass the ball. They like to play play through between the lines, and um, they got players that play professionally. So we know what to expect. I think um, Suriname, similar, similar to us, you know, now that the Gold Cup and um, Nations League has come around, teams, you know, look to take things a little bit more serious. They've probably been a sleeping giant for a little while. Um, so, you know, we expect, we expect good things from Suriname. Um, yeah, that's, that's the way football is now. People are pulling players from left, right, center with, with roots. Um, we don't really do that. We All our players are homegrown. Um, so, and some of them play professional and some of them don't, but that's what we're up against. You know, we're played against some tough teams, Mexico, uh, Canada, which we did. We had a very weak team against Canada and we got punished for it. Um, so we're, we're playing against some top teams and we know what to ex expect. There is COVID uh, around the world. How was the preparation for this match? Does, did COVID have any uh, influence on the training schedule of Bermuda? Um, in the beginning, yes, because our, our country was on a lockdown, so it prevented us from start training when we wanted to. So we were two weeks behind in that process after the last World Cup qualifiers. Um, so, you know, we like to do things in six-week blocks, so we were short, you know, four weeks preparation for this. Um, but COVID's been, it's been a bit kinder to us. We lost, you know, five of our players against the Canada game through COVID. We didn't even fill out our roster mm -hmm. uh, against um, Canada because of COVID. Yeah. So. And, and we lost some key players that we couldn't replace at the, at the last minute. And, um, you know, this time we're dealing with it a lot better. Yeah. Um, players, I mean, everyone's been tested regularly for the last six to seven weeks, so we know where we are with that. It's been a lot more cautious. I mean, you know, it's a world problem. Good luck, Coach. All right, thanks a lot.